Good morning, class, and if you'll sit down, we'll get started. I'd like to welcome you all to Universal Constants, a uh, requirement class for those of you who are going to be working beyond the, your own sectors of space. As you know, we have seven, seven different species here. However, uh, there are many, many more out there, and this class has been designed specifically to make sure you are ready to deal with different species. The first part of this class is going to seem a little odd to everyone. Since we all know that we only wear outer covers when it is required for things like protection. Uh, as everyone here knows, if you don't have a chitinous shell, that you wear some sort of protection for your warriors. Uh, also, when dealing with chemicals, you do wear some sort of protection. But it's very rare that you wear anything on the outside of your bodies. This is one of the few universal constants around the entire universe. Until now. We have a new species that has joined our ranks. Uh, they are the Hyumen, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, hopefully, within the next few semesters, we will get a Hyumen in here to actually explain this better. However, we will go into detail as we know it of now. The Hyumen always wear outer clothing. It's very, very rare that you do not see them with an abundance of clothing, as they call it, and for different reasons. Uh, many times it is simply for what they call style. Uh, think of it as plumage, similar to our avian races. And it is a way of getting attention from other mates and also attention from uh, of their own uh, species. However, it is to be very well noted that if you are going to work with a human, it is going to be almost a requirement that you put on some sort of covering, especially for any species that is similar in shape. If you are dimorphic similar to that of a human, it is highly, highly recommended that you wear some sort of outer clothing. This is for two reasons. One, the humans have an odd thing about respect. Uh, they call it modesty. They, uh, it, it's a strange concept that we haven't quite understood yet. However, it has much of its idea based on their own uh, sexual area. <laughs> All right, uh, class, I'm just going to speak to you straight because, honestly, you're all adults here. I don't have to beat around the bush. And I, I'm sorry. I picked up a couple of strange human phrases. I, I'm not going to deflect from the actual subject and take the long route so that it's much more palatable. I am simply going to tell you straight. Humans do not have a mating cycle, and because of this, they have the ability to mate at pretty much any time. Please stop the giggling. Uh, one moment. As you can see on the board now, this is a diagram of both the male and female humans. As you can see, their dimorphism allows them to tell each other apart. However, it is very well noted that they will uh, expose themselves only to those they wish to mate with. Now, there are exceptions to this. Uh, changing to here we go uh, when humans immerse themselves in water for recreation they wear very little clothing mostly covering these sections here which are mostly rather the reproductive organs it should be noted that the issues in regards to wearing clothing do not travel to each and every species Mostly it is going to be concerned with anyone with a similar body shape of humans. Humans decide their mates mainly on visual cues. That is not to say that other species shouldn't take this into account. However, it should be well noted that even though the rest of the universe does not wear outer layers, or as humans call it, clothing, on a regular basis, humans do. Take this into account whenever dealing with humans and note that you cannot 
figure out who they are strictly based on their stripes, their coloring, or any of that matter. Simply because the clothing will change this every so often. And many times, every day, it will change, which for several of you will make things very difficult. Now, I will end here and give a five minute break so you can look over the study material and understand that this was a use universal constants, well, until the humans, that is.